go over event galleries. This is what the link that we send clients when they uh, when an event is completed. It's a link that they can share with friends and then they can log into. Uh, there are two parts to event galleries. One is the, the main, there are two links to event galleries. One is the main link, which you can see is up here, which I provided. It's usually, it says event right after the website, then the name of the event, and then there's a code, which makes it difficult for people to find this link. Sometimes there's a password. So what I'm going to do is enter the password, and you can tell the client as well that they just enter the password. And then when they log in, it'll ask them to register for an event. So I'm going to just quickly register. And I'll put my email and I'll enter the code. This is what the clients have to do once they register. This way, once you registered, then you will be emailed a custom link. This custom link is what gives you, which allows the client to um, choose their favorite uh, photos. Um, if you don't click the link in your email, you won't be able to. Um, choose your favorite photos. So you see, thanks, we sent an email with a new event link. Just click to begin browsing. So when I hit OK, it's going to take me to this main page. I'm not going to be able to choose my favorites because I'm not registered. You can see clear here that allows me to register. Now what I do is if I quickly um, minimize this. So this is, um, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go check my email. In my email, that link will be there to register. So if I go to updates, then I get event registration. Now this is the link that I can use if this is my personal gallery to choose my favorites. So I'm going to open it up, and this is a customized link. Sometimes we'll create this for the clients. Sometimes the client can create it for themselves. So if there's multiple albums, sometimes I'll create the event. That's how you create the links like I just did. So when you register, you could use um, it, when you go back to the register page, you could use, instead of my name, I could say album one, album two, album three, and then at those are the links. This link that's emailed to you is the link that you could give. Okay, so let me go back to that event page. So now in here, when you click on the link on our photos, um, the client can choose their favorite. So if I just click here, I can hit heart. That'll choose my favorites for the album or whatever the client likes. So I could just click here, it saves it, keep it going, save it. Now when I hit the X out, I go up to the top, I click back to Jennifer and Dinesh, and I can click view my favorites. Now that the client has chosen their favorites, let's see these are the favorites that the client wants. They are saved in our um, a private gallery for them. So let me close this out. I'm going to close out. This was my private event link where I chose favorites in Jennifer and Dinesh's album. So I'm going to click close that out. Now I'm going to go back up to my events. Um, go back up to now. This is my smug mug. You can see that I'm logged in. The other was the client page, so they wouldn't be able to see this. So I just click um, go back to um, click here. Go to home page. And you can see this is now the, smug, the back end of the website. So I can click Organize. And this will take me to all of the um, galleries. Now if I go here, see now all of the ones that this, the client selected as their favorite goes into the, this folder called Event Favorites. And it's organized by a date. So if you go here, you can see Jennifer and Dinesh. It's usually organized by the date the client's um, the album's access. And I click here. And you can see my favorites. See my favorites? The three that I selected are right here. Now if you want to go ahead and download these to send to an album designer or um, printer to print the print, you just click this button, Download, and click Download Gallery. When you click that, this will pop up, and the link will be emailed to you in your inbox. And once you get that email in your inbox, you can copy that link and forward that along to the album designer. So if I come here, I go back to my inbox. Um, it should be here. There we go. There you go. There's the link.